Hello, welcome to Evelyn Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things RC and crafts. Today we're going to be talking about the Jumper T8SG. Um, I got this one from uh, Geek Buying. Uh, again, I don't. Nobody gives me anything. Everything I review, I've paid money for, so it better bloody well work. So it's not like I'm one of these guys that get junk in from um, a company and give a give a good or bad review. Uh, I bought this because of the multi-channel protocols and because I fly so many different uh, different types of devices. And I saw a lot of uh, videos trashing the product and some of them glorifying them, but they never used it. They just opened the box and said, oh, I think this is going to be good. Well, I've flown this now for a few weeks and primarily for indoor flying. Um, I do a lot of bind and fly from uh, Horizon Hobbies. They have an awful lot of planes. And traditionally, I'd use my uh, Spectrum DX6E. Uh, great little radio. Uh, but a lot of times, I have uh, a lot of other fun toys, like this here uh, little uh, Cheerson CX-10, kind of nice uh, to fly. The problem with uh, these little devices, they fly about 10 feet, and they fall out of the sky because they lose reception from the radio. Uh, and then for outdoor flying, I use my uh, Tyrannus, um, still, this is a, an oldie, the 9D+, Plus. does a great job, FR Sky. But for flying indoors, and you get drones and quads that have different protocols right now on the board, DSM, FR Sky, Fly Sky, I thought, well, it would be nice if I had a radio that would uh, kind of do it all. So I purchased this, uh, this unit. Now, <clears throat> I purchased it, and it came with a... Came with a nice case, uh, really a, a nice bonus, and a neck strap, uh, which was uh, which which was kind of nice. And uh, I went in and I bound it first using my test plane. Uh, for those of you that have seen my other videos, this is kind of my little test bed plane. And I, the primary ones I wanted to make sure it bound with was FR Sky and Spectrum, and it did. I didn't have any problems with it at all, and. Um, it did, it did a good bind. Um, I have um, also then started to bind it with, um, with uh, uh, Hubsams, the uh, Eosheens. Uh, I have about four other different units that I've uh, bound it with, and it works great every time. I've never had a problem. Um, a lot of people complain about the sticks being uh, cheapy and toy -y. For me, the sticks are actually kind of good because I, I uh, fly with my thumbs. Okay, so having the shorter sticks is kind of nice. I, I could actually uh, actually control it a little bit better. This was actually better than uh, than the uh, than the heavier Spectrum. This is a big, heavy machine, and it, it's uh, it's nice actually having this in your hand. It's nice. It fits fits almost like a glove. The um, however, if you want to raise the sticks, I found the only thing you have to do is unscrew the uh, the sticks here. Put a little three millimeter nut on there, screw it down to the height you want. It's perfect. It's cheap, uh, and it's a great little uh, addition to it. Um, the this is probably one of the best indoor flyers around. In fact, I would say if you were going out and buying a Horizon Hobby type plane, a bind and fly, buy the bind and fly without their radio. Uh, now their newer ones come with the DX6E, which is just a nuisance to work with. Buy this. This is phenomenal. This will actually work a lot better than the Spectrum, not the, the, the 6E that I have, but the 6 that uses, uh, doesn't have any guts in it. You have to use your iPhone to program it. Um, don't, I, I find that very awkward to use. I bought it and then took it back because it was, it was such a nuisance. Um, so this, just get the bind and flies and buy this radio. It's $75 American. There'll be a link to it on the site um, on, on this uh, video. Uh, but this is uh, this is really a good good indoor product. I would definitely get this uh, for all my indoor bind and fly. Uh, there are some lows. I, I find that the lack of feedback a little bit. That's personal taste. I like having a little bit more resistance on the springs. Uh, um, and the one thing that I found uh, <clears throat> that I would have preferred to have is a momentary switch. For a lot of the bind and flies, there's there's kind of a what they call the oh shit switch that when you get in trouble, you push it, and it will correct your plane for you. There's no momentary switch on there. Although you can program one of the three button switch to do that, I really would like to have uh, that momentary switch. Uh, and also for using the little, the little toy ones, you can do flips and that. Not that I do it that often, but 
it would be nice if it had a momentary switch. Uh, the highs is really the, uh, the, the size. I like it. Uh, also, the highs is this. I've found nothing that's in their list that will not bind to this. Um, so the compatibility is, is great. I think all radios, these expensive radios, should be able to do all these various models as well. Uh, it would be nice if they could. Um, there will be uh, another video coming up on this on, <clears throat> on binding it to your uh, quadcopter. I bound it to this quadcopter. Normally I use the Tyrannus to fly uh, with these devices, but I bound it to this quadcopter. I have to tell you, it actually flew pretty nice with this little radio. Uh, I'm anxious to see because of the different power levels, you can um, uh, adjust the power level on this uh, transmitter so that it will uh, 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 handle a la larger range. So I'm excited to see if this will actually uh, handle a larger range when I fly my, um, my racing drone. Um, but there are a few tips on uh, getting this to work. Not that it's a big problem. Uh, I'll go into it a bit more detail, but before I leave today, one tip if you're going to use this right away before my next video. When you go into your flight controller menu, you go into your modes, and you're going to go to the arm switch. It probably won't arm because of the range of the throttle that is preset on here. So you just go into your throttle on your mixer, go to your uh, unit there and adjust the range. Okay, and adjust it up. It'll, you'll find that it will start to arm at around 106 to 110 percent. So do that, and this will work fine. And the other thing is, is that normally if you program five, switch five and six, it'll do most of the functions. For example, angle, horizon, uh, and a few other modes you can do right there. But there'll be another video because um, it has no voice, but it does have feedback and telemetry. So I used it for my um, FR Sky battery voltage sensor so that I knew when uh, my battery was low. And this was actually quite easy to program to make that all work. No voice, but you still get a lot of good feedback so you know when to come in so you don't um, run out of juice. Anyway, we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows, and thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye for now.